Hi, this is Brother Richard, <clears throat> and today we're continuing with our lesson series, Prototokus Mystery. This will be part 284 in our series, and our title today is The Inheritance Part 3. We're continuing to <clears throat> discover what the scripture tells us about the inheritance of the adopted son, the one who reaches the highest state of sonship in Christ. Mm. Scripture teaches the saints of the adoption will inherit control of all entrances and exits, doors, windows, bars, and gates of the heavens and of the earth matrix. <clears throat> which are reserved to be activated at the end of the age. In other words, <clears throat> at the end time, <clears throat> the doors, windows, and bars, gates that are currently sealed ultimately will all be opened. Should we understand this includes weather control, seasons and times, etc. At this, at this same point. A phase progression. <clears throat> yes. Will it be an individual saint opening these doors, bars, and gates, or will it be a combination of us all really opening and closing them at the same time? Groups. At specific times for specific purposes. Just include the elders? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. You said a phase progression. Can you explain a little bit? It's starting at the beginning of sorrows. And then it increases to the point at which the tribulation judgments come through openings, doors, bars, okay. and gates. Okay. I'll give you a case in point. We're going to get our lesson in a moment. Turn to Revelation. Uh, ninth chapter. Now this this is a, an example of the phase, the final phase of openings, which takes place at the second half of the tribulation period. Revelation nine verses one to two. <clears throat> and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. So that's an example of when these entrances <coughs> and exits are open, and the things that are <coughs> uh, located within them are allowed to come forth. Yes. We notice that it's a dawn star that has that key. Mm -mm. It says a star. A star, not a dawn star. Is it a star group? Mm. This is a key, of course, which was taken at the time that the Lord descended into the subterranean regions after his crucifixion. It's and like he, a dawn star too, but it's not. No, it's a star group. Star Member of the star group? family. Yeah. The highest members of the star group are the dawn stars. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Some call them morning stars. Then you have the family. It's like you can compare it to archangels and angels. <clears throat> the star group are those that are on a lower level, but they come from the same family. And he is um, a trusted aid, <clears throat> which the Lord gives him the keys to the bottom of his pit hell and death he opens them up and stuff comes loose but let's go on <clears throat> turn to Job 38th chapter verse 8 to 11 
<coughs> or who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth as it had issued out of the moon. When I made the cloud the garment thereof and thick darkness a swaddling band for it and break up for it my decreed place and set doors and set bars and doors and said hitherto shalt thou come but no further here shalt thou proud waves be stayed. So this sea is currently locked in by doors and gates which prevent it from coming forth. During the time of the beginning of sorrows, tribulation period, those doors and gates are going to be open and this the sea is going to pour out onto the earth. So the sea is contained. Yes. Yes. Oh. Wrapped in a cloud. Mm -hmm. So this is YHVH talking to Job or is this all him? A wing. Okay. YHVH was the one that was instructed to construct the barriers, which he did. He has current control of it. When the sea pours out at the beginning of sorrows, I'm sure that's what you just said, how does it affect the surface of the earth? Everything's going to be changed. What I'm trying to ask is, does the sea cause the surface of the, of the earth to separate into the regions that we see the Luciferians taking over? No. Uh, <clears throat> that's done by um, other forces, other things. Okay. When you take a look at Ezekiel 28, <clears throat> it talks about the princes of the sea. This is the sea they come out of, and okay. they rule, and everything is dominated at that point <clears throat> by the sea that's been released. From the subterranean regions. Okay. Yes. But let's go on. <clears throat> Drop down to verse 22 to 23. Hast thou entered into the treasures of the snow, or hast thou seen the treasures of the hail, which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war? <coughs> This is talking about doors and gates that are currently locked. But behind them, <clears throat> you have these tremendous uh, <clears throat> things that are waiting to be released. The time that the door, the gate, or the window is open. Give an example. Turn to Joshua, 10th chapter, verse 11. Joshua? Uh-huh. What was that, Joshua? Joshua 10, okay. verse 11. There you are, Joshua. <laughs> A, a, a raging battle takes place. <clears throat> YHVH opens this uh, door behind which the treasure of the hail exists. Joshua 10, verse 11. <clears throat> it came to pass as they fled from before Israel, we were in the going down to Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. <clears throat> they were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. So <clears throat> these are tremendous hailstones that currently are kept. <clears throat> behind doors in the heavens. During, it's turn to Revelation, 16th chapter.
verse 21. <clears throat> and it fell upon men a great hail out of heaven. Every stone about the weight of a talent, about between 75 and 100 pounds. Mm. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail. For the plague there was exceeding great. Yeah, hundreds, maybe even thousands of 75 to 100 pound hailstones hitting people. So the people that got hit aren't going to blaspheme. The people that survive and see the damage are going to blaspheme. Now, <clears throat> scripture teaches, currently these entrances and exits are controlled by YHVH. In Joshua 10, verse 11, it's YHVH that opens the doors and lets the hailstones down and wipes people out. In Revelation 16, it's the sons of God. They gain control over all doors, bars, and gates. Mm. Genesis 7, <clears throat> verse 11 to In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were open. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. <clears throat> so the flood <clears throat> came through the open windows of heaven and was so <clears throat> egregious. It covered the mountains. The whole planet's surface was covered in water. So does the heavens have gates as well? Yeah. With gates and windows? Why windows, gates, doors. But the, but the waters came through the windows. I wonder what the significance to the windows or just any opening. Well, there's specific regions. Oh, okay. And in that region, needs to have a, a door a gate or a window and if it's open and what's behind it comes through that's why the, the Bible calls it the treasures that are hidden <clears throat> that the Lord has prepared for the end of the age can you tell us if the sons of God are involved in the disappearance of the old earth the disappearance of mm. the old earth the old earth disappears, the new earth is... Oh, you mean that when this universe goes out of measure? Yeah. Yeah, they're the inheritance of all things. So th their, their activities can, uh, 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 end up, result in the disappearance. Okay. Actually, <coughs> what you can say is uh, th th this, this uh, secondary creation is on a timer. When God erected it, mm. he gave it a duration. At the X, Y, X point it goes out of existence okay. yes is it burned up is this old earth going to be burned up yes yes mm. yes not only the earth all the elements fire air earth and water everything's going out of existence so in terms of the burning up would you see if you were able to look at it would you see flames around it as it burned up you or would, would it see just, just disintegrate disintegrate mm. <clears throat> because flames can know something residue uh, leaving over the burning but right. not, nothing's going to be left <clears throat> let's go on <clears throat> Scripture teaches a vast array of things exist beyond these openings, including birds and winds and flesh and blood creatures. Turn to Psalm 78. We're going to read verses 26 and 27. <clears throat>
<coughs> Psalms uh, 78. Oh, 78. We're going to start with verse 26 and 27. <coughs> He caused an east wind to blow in the heaven. He caused an east. How did he cause that? He opened the window. Hmm. <clears throat> if you read verse 23, same chapter. We'll start there and make it a little easier. 23. 23. Though he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven, so when he opens the doors these things come through and had rained down manna upon them to eat and given them the corn of heaven all that all that came through the doors when he opened them up is the corn something different from the manna yeah okay mm -hmm. it's actually corn you know he's called it the corn of heaven but what is you, it you can't compare it to anything here on okay. earth okay but he's, he's using the word corn because it is the equivalent in heaven of what corn here is on a staple right so is that a storehouse for angels? Huh? It's like a storehouse for angels? Yes. Exactly. So you said a storehouse for orange juice. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's interesting. No, yes, yeah, for, for the angels. Right. For the angels. Yes. So the corn is angels' food. That's what it calls it. Okay. He caused an east wind. Oh, here, verse 25. Man did eat angels' food. He sent them meat to the full. He caused an east wind to blow in the heaven, and by his power he brought in the south wind. <clears throat> so you see all of these things are coming through the opening. Specific openings will emit specific things, depending upon what he wants to bring forth. significance to the different wind directions east and south yes what should we understand from that well <clears throat> depending upon what result you want to bring in you okay. bring in that particular okay. wind so each wind is, is responsible for a particular uh, outcome there's a course yeah. verse, 20, verse 27 he rained flesh flesh <clears throat> also upon them as dust so you're looking at different things. Now this the word flesh there <coughs> basically <coughs> can, uh, it comes from a Hebrew term ser, S-E-R. It means a flesh and blood body. It's a, it's a creature, um, an inhabitant of that particular region. It doesn't okay. describe what it looks like. It just tells you what it is. Yeah. So that's not the manner. The manner is like no. bread. The flesh is some type of meat. Also talks about quails. Mm. So he rained down a panoply of things for three million people. They, they, they had a main course. They were still complaining. <coughs> <coughs> Hang on. I just want to bring everybody's remembrance. This is holy food. There is no waste product after eating the, the, this food so there's no yes. intestinal elimination yes. Yes. So you, you get the whole the whole uh, nutritional value exactly right. from it. verse 29 uh, verse 20 he let it fall in the midst of their camp round about the habitations so they did eat and were well filled for he gave them their own desire so they would go out of the camp. He let it fall within a certain distance from the camp. They would go out of the camp and pick whatever it was they wanted for that day. You had all of this to choose from. And they carry it home in a baskets or whatever it is they had. And, you know, the family would eat well. They were eating better than any other group on the earth because this was wholesome, nutritious, Angels food. So is cooking involved or not? No. Everything no is preparation. Prepared. Right. It's yeah. ready to it's meals on wheels, <laughs> ready to go. Wow. I like that. Yes indeed. <clears throat> so what it's letting us know is beyond the veil 
what you're looking at are habitations, vast regions of activities, beings, creatures in abundance. All that's going to be revealed in the times ahead. Of course, the human race is going to be able to deal with it because they're not being prepared for it. But those that read the scripture will be given the understanding by the Holy Spirit. So you'll know what's happening when this takes place. Let's go on. <clears throat> Scripture teaches at the gathering, the Prototokos teachers, Prototokos teachers, <clears throat> will enter into their inheritance, which includes authority of all doors, windows, bars, and gates. The first group that's going to get authority over these openings are the Prototokos teachers at the time the Lord descends to give them their inheritance. Matthew 24, <clears throat> verse 47. Verily, Truly, I say unto you that he, Prototokos teacher, shall make him, oh, the, 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 the Lord actually, talking about the Prototokos teacher, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. The word good, goods there is possessions. It's everything <coughs> that belongs to the Lord, <coughs> the Prototokos teacher is going to have the authority to administer. So you're going to have a shift from the control that currently is in the hands of YHVH and the Star Group to the Prototokos teacher. Ephesians, first chapter, verse 10 to 11. dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ all things in Christ both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him it's talks about the connection of all things we talked about the vast regions the doors bars and gates this is what it's talking about <coughs> they are going to <coughs> connect to all things on earth into the hands of the inheritor. Verse 11. In whom, in whom, Christ, also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. <clears throat> Prototokos teacher comes into his inheritance. He becomes an administrator over the churches, he becomes a steward over <coughs> the creation. It's the implication that at this point, those who are already in the heavens move through the bars and gates? Who are in the heavens? Mm. Well, it depends on your position when you went to the heavens. If you qualified, yeah. If you don't, no. What I'm, what I'm saying is those who are already in the heavens yeah. at the point of the connection. Yeah. Do they move through the bars and gates when they're called back for? <coughs> Depends the on their position. If you died and uh, <coughs> you uh, 
had some rewards, but you didn't qualify for sonship. No, because it's not going to be given to you. It's going to be given to the prototokis who has the adoption Agreed. qualification. I understand that. What I'm talking about is, are the bars and gates used for those who are already in the heavens at the point of the connection when they come back with the Lord? No. <clears throat> no. Okay. no. You have to have in your inheritance to do it. At this point, it's in the hands of the angels. Gotcha. Only. Okay. So no one is using it. Yes. Then <clears throat> is Paul going to be called to the gathering? Oh, I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. <clears throat> Remember, all this is in abeyance as far as we're concerned. We are qualifying for it. It's not ours yet. At this point, in the fullness of the times, all this comes into the inheritance of okay. the prototokis. Okay. <clears throat> Brings us to the next principle. Scripture indicates at this time, <clears throat> the angels, YHVH, the star group, will have yielded this authority to the, <clears throat> to the stars of the churches. In other words, you're going to have a shift in authority when the dawn stars yield to the stars who've come into their inheritance. Hebrews, second chapter, verse 5. Unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come whereof we speak. Their authority ends at the time that the prototokas receive their inheritance. Because it's the prototokas that are inheriting everything. You're referring specifically to the prototokas angels? Yes. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Scripture indicates the Prototokia's sons will use their authority to bring judgments upon the Luciferians progressively in line with the Father's master plan. In other words, when the Prototokias get the authority, <clears throat> they are going to line up totally understanding, totally in harmony with the progression of judgments that pertain to the Father's master plan. Remember what the Father told the Son. Sit at my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. It's going to be a progression of judgments on differing groups of Luciferians until it reaches a point where they're all consumed by judgment. But it's not going to happen all at one time. It's going to be progressive, starting with the beginning of sorrows. When the Lord descends, the Lord descends. Turn to Luke, the 21st chapter. <laughs> Verse 25 to 26. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. This takes place just before the Lord returns <coughs> at the gathering. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for well, the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Where powers there is dynamis. It refers to two things, supernatural power. It also refers to potent, pot basically, 
the administrators of power. So not necessarily a, a family of angelic beings. I was talking about rulers. I understand, but at that magistrates. point, magistrates. At that point, they are angelic beings. Yes. So I'm asking, does power also refer to a family <coughs> of angelic beings? It refers to everybody okay. in this genre right. who is currently in a position of authority. So you're referring to the second stringers? Yes. Only the second stringers? Yes. Right. Yes. They're the ones that are calling the shots now. Gotcha. Paul talked about <coughs> we fight not against flesh and yes. blood. Yes. These guys, this is their time. Mm -hmm. They're going to be pulled down brought down <coughs> as a judgment, their power taken from them, and they're going to be imprisoned in the heart of the earth. <coughs> this takes place just before the Lord descends to distribute the inheritance to the Prototokos teachers. Verse 27, Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So he's going to take them down. There's a regime shift. He gives... <coughs> Authority now to the Protogus teachers who have authority over all the heavens, authority over the churches, authority over the doors, bars, and gates that ultimately are going to be used as they progress toward the time of the rapture. <coughs> they are going to <coughs> take control of all of this in preparation for the Father's master plan. <clears throat> Their basic calling at this point is to prepare their brethren to receive authority just before the rapture takes place. They have to be given authority for them to be able to do this for their brothers of opportunity to receive the 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 influence of the Luciferians has to be broken so that the truth of the Father's plan can be given to the brethren. At this point, the way we are now, you're only going to get a handful of people that are prepared to comprehend because the Luciferian influence is too powerful. It right. has to be broken. Right. Yes. When do the 144,000 get their instruction? Oh, later on. Much later on. Uh, during the tribulation. second half of the tribulation period. Here you retort, you're looking at things before the rapture. So we're not seeing any 144,000 participation <clears throat> in the gathering? No, 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 no. Okay. No. So should we understand that at the point of Luke 21 verse 26, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, mm -hmm. the dominion which the powers held is transferred to the priests, the priest angels. Yes. Of the yeah, of course, all is good. Okay. Yeah. And look at regime change. Mm. These guys finally are gonna get their just due. And uh, the sons of God that are qualified are gonna be put in the command See. position. Yeah. So Mr. Jones, are we saying that there's no bride members in the 144,000? No. no. They're not part of it. Right. Okay, we're going to shut it down here. We'll continue Tuesday. We still got more things in this lesson to give you. I said you meant that the earth will be burnt up. The earth will be burnt up, yes. she said. Yes. Okay. So what happens to the subterranean thing, Helen? In the, bad place. the torment regions. Oh, what, when the earth gets burnt out, what happens to the torment regions? Mm -hmm. They're still around. They're eternal. The earth and the heavens are temporary. Right. They're matter. When they get burnt up, everything that's material goes out of existence. Right. But the torment regions are eternal. They will always exist. You should look at those as different dimensions, Georgia. The souls that are in them will always be in torment. There's no end to that. The people of earth that are physical come to an end and everything becomes spiritual after that. So the things in...
things that in the torment region that keep burning are eternal burning. Yes. So it's okay. So it's just forever burning. Yes. That's uh, eternal punishment. Ouch.